Hey everybody, Dave, Sandrick Cemetery here, working on my giant spider. Uh, using an aluminum fence post I got from my neighbor, Big John. Uh, put those together with the joints here. You can loosen them, tighten them to whatever angle you want. And the bag, the body, so far I got uh, thousands of plastic bags from stores. Put them in a contractor's garbage bag then put that in another contractor's garbage bag, zip tight it closed, and then use some spray adhesive on the bag and wrapped it in this fake cobweb. And then, where I'm at now, after that, I will spray paint it all black and that will look like the body. And then I need to buy an eight inch round piece of foam and connect as the head somehow, and that's more to come after I'm done painting. Well, more work on the giant spider here at Sandrick Cemetery. I got the legs done. Uh, use some spray adhesive on the legs and use a uh, fake cobweb, spider web. Stretched it out and uh, stuck it to the legs and gave it a coat of spray paint. I'm going to leave a little of the gray in there because, you know, spider's legs always have different speckles of different colors. So, the legs look pretty good. Might spray something on the joints, like a little bit of a white, and dust the top with some more white here. And then now it's time to work on the head, which I have started right there. The eyeballs. And I'm going to get some fangs to put their teeth, fangs, or whatever spiders have, and glue that there. There's the head. There's the body. Quick shot. Hey, everybody. Dave Sandrick Cemetery. Uh, I'm going to get the last video on my spider for the hunt. Basically his head is separate from his body. It's 8 inch, 9 inch styrofoam I got from uh, Walmart, I believe. Styrofoam bulbs. I cut the hot wire cutter for foam. Different shapes, sizes. Uh, the teeth were pumpkin teeth from uh, a store for I think 5 bucks. Painted in black. Kind of corpse the styrofoam with plastic, gave it two coats of black paint, and painted the eyes green, and then used uh, some styrofoam glue and inserted these, screwed these into the styrofoam, and gave it a, another coat. And I basically have a stake underneath into the ground into the head holding it in place, but it looks like it's attached to the body. So that's that.